Okay, just a quick video to dig into the symbolism on the Gadsden flag. I've seen this flag a lot, and uh, I think I've misinterpreted what it means. Right off the bat, um, in addition to the 13 rattles, the snake is broken up into 33 pieces, and more importantly, it's coiled up into one, two, three and a half coils. And with that, we should know that there's some symbolism here for the kundalini. Recently on my channel I've done a Bible study on the pineal gland, kundalini and Jesus Christ. And that's also tied into Moses in Numbers 21 where they had to raise up a bronze serpent, a fiery serpent, and they had to set it up on the pole. So that's called Neshutan from the Bible. Here the yellow or bronze color of the snake coiled around the pole three and a half times it is the staff of Hermes or the caduceus it is also the rod of Asclepius as we see on ambulances and hospitals and everywhere with the snake climbing up the pole the rod of Asclepius and traditionally this will be depicted as a snake curled up three and a half times here it is talking about the kundalini and it says the goddess which the bible calls the holy spirit is more subtle than the fiber of the lotus she said and lies asleep at the base of the spine curled three and a half times round herself closing with her body the door to brahman but you can see that the kundalini is coiled three and a half times and i hate to use wikipedia but just to further um, solidify the fact that kundalini is definitely tied to the number three and a half coils here we are on the kundalini page for wikipedia and we see kundalini is described as being coiled at the base of the spine and kundalini is said to reside in a triangular sacrum bone in three and a half coils so going back to the gadsden flag one two three and a half it is quite obvious that this is a symbolism of the kundalini serpent here it's talking of the pineal gland it says when the pineal gland is stimulated by kundalini the gland stands upright lifting itself like the head of a cobra ready to strike so when you see the snake when it's coiled with his head up ready to strike once again, yet another hint that this is tied to the symbolism of, of a kundalini. In addition to that, if we include the head and the tail, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and with the tail, 33 sections of the snake. So the snake itself representing 33 or the spine and being coiled up three and a half times saying don't tread on me. Now the yellow most likely represents the same color that we see on Moses' staff right here. Notice that the snake is yellow and there's an entire thesis on it right here which talks about why is the Gadsden flag yellow and that the fact that it's yellow Dem demands an explanation that the rattlesnakes of the eastern seaboard are not yellow and in the thesis here it hypothesizes that the gadsden flag consciously recalls the brazen snake standard that neshutan raised by moses the gadsden flag was originally intended for the navy and in the navy nautical yellow means disease on board quarantine signal the slang term for yellow jack or the epidemic yellow fever and in 1789 closer to the date that the gadsden flag was designed a yellow flag warned that capital punishment was taking place on board so this should raise the question of what the yellow field might signify and going through an entire thesis here and reading this at least this guy um, and with this hypothesis here he's come to the conclusion 
that the Gadsden flag consciously recalls the Neshutan, which is the raising of the serpent. In different words, it's called Kundalini, and that Kundalini is residing in a triangular sacrum bone in three and a half coils. And I'll point out that the image itself is more or less in a triangular shape. Looking further into it, we have the Ancora Sakara here, or the Sacred Anchor, which has taken the T-shape here with the serpent coil around it three and a half times, and has replaced it with a anchor. We still have the T-shape and the snake coiled around it, but this is called, as we can see here, Ancora Sakara, or the Sacred Anchor. Here we have an old book, Ancora Sakara. And although the anchor isn't here, of course, here's the staff with the snake coiled around. They see the one eye, the third eye here. And of course, snakes coiled. But more importantly, pay attention to the traditional Ancora Sakata here. And we'll turn to look at this Gaston family flag, which is kind of a different design of the Do Not Tread On Me with the snake you can see here it has more of that bronze color on the snake more like a metal kind of a metalish color here but 13 stars going around and here of course the Ancora Sakata undeniable and we have the rope wrapping around it one two probably three and a half times it looks like so, undeniable symbolism of the Ancora Sakara tied to the Gadsden family flag and the Gadsden snake. The Do not tread on me. And this is certainly symbolism of the Kundalini or the Ancora Sakara or Neshutan, the Caduceus, the Rod of Asclepius. And when the Gadsden flag took a more modern turn or this design that the Gadsden uh, family made, we can see exactly what they've done. They've turned it into three and a half coils to represent the Kundalini. The snake is broken up into 33 sections to represent the spine. The symbol itself is in a triangular shape to represent the triangular of the sacrum bone. And Do Not Tread On Me probably has a much more deeper significance. And it may be a message to the Masons that says, don't stifle the knowledge about this kundalini energy it's the same thing jesus was saying in luke eleven fifty two, when he said woe to you experts in the law because you have taken away the key of knowledge and this word in greek is gnosis you have taken away the key of gnosis you yourselves have not entered and you have hindered those who were entering or perhaps hindered those who want to enter and that's exactly what the masons have done They've hidden this key to knowledge, the key to gnosis, the true meaning of the number 33. And the Masons have taken that. And they don't practice it themselves. They haven't entered. And they're hindering those who, who want to enter. And at the moment, that's my interpretation of don't tread on me. The Kundalini is shown here in its three and a half coils and it's 33 pieces of the vertebrae with the triangular shape and it's saying, don't tread on me, don't stifle the Kundalini power. And that's exactly what, that's exactly what the Masons have done. They've kept it for themselves and they've hindered anybody else who wants to, wants to enter, who wants knowledge. They've, they've hindered them from getting it. But more undeniably that we can turn to older Gadsden family flags. Do not tread on me here. We can see the Ancora Sakata with the rope twisting around the anchor of the T at the top. The same Ancora Sakata that we find here. Symbolism of the bronze serpent climbing up the pole three and a half times just as Moses is doing here. So next time you see a guy flying the don't tread on me flag. And you make a comment about the Caduceus, the Rod of Asclepius, Neshutan, Jesus, 
raising the serpent as Moses did in the wilderness, or just simply making a uh, comment about the uh, the Kundalini and uh, pointing to their flag and recognizing that it's in a triangular shape in three and a half coils. Don't be surprised if you get a blank stare of confusion from the man flying the flag.